Thoughts. Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and we are continuing our series on uh, grave uh, statuary and, and cemetery statuary. And today we've got uh, one that we've probably seen next. But this is an angel holding a wreath. And um, it means that uh, the wreath means that they won't be forgotten. And um, the wreath itself, because of, of what it's made out of, uh, laurel wreaths, um, means triumph over death. And so this is another example of an angel that we see uh, quite a bit throughout. What's interesting about this is it's bronze. Most of the other ones we see are, are marble or, or um, uh, granite, something of that nature, but this is, this is bronze. And this is a, a special, it was cast special for this, for this one. The artist's name is on the side here, H. Reinhardt, his last work, R-O-M, 1874. So this is somewhat special. This is bronze, this isn't something usual. And I'll have some information on the bottom or underneath in the description about bronze castings and the time period for those. And um, it is unique. Bronze or copper, maybe it's just copper. But in any case, and this is for Julia Dickinson, wife of John W. Payne, daughter of B. Cole Taylor, I believe, 1808 to 1872. Marble, of course. But again, bronze, which is very unusual. And this is the others of them here. Wife of Taylor Payne. Husband and Marguerite of Marguerite Hart Payne. So this is interesting. I don't... <laughs> I'm just walking over here to this mausoleum. Yep, Payne. This is a Payne mausoleum. <coughs> Octagonal. I didn't stop for this. But... Um, We can see the Payne Mausoleum. And there'll be information about the family in the, in, under, in the description. I don't know. No, I don't think you can see him. I tried. This is uh, quite the mausoleum. So, this is another look at uh, Graveyard Statuary. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you find it interesting. And uh, please subscribe. You can see that Oakwood Cemetery has a lot a lot of statuary. So with that, have a nice day. See you later. Please subscribe as I say. Bye now.